Let's analyze the case of a simple linear penalty on delayed delivery. Assume that on this 4 billion 62 month long project, the client will hold a daily penalty of $100,000 on late deliveries after contractual delivery date of, of March 17th, 2028. A contracting company bidding for this project believes that this one could be a highly profitable amounting to $120 million on project management profits. This would be the first port construction project where the company would participate. Additionally, by eventually succeeding on this project, the project management company would firmly place itself as a regional key player on eventually gaining more projects on the long range. According to some company directors, the likely penalties to be paid would constitute the right of entry payment to a sector where the company plans to play on the years to come. First, we need to create a penalty clause within the cost structures allowed by Saffron Risk. Go to the Cost tab. We will insert a formula that allows for creating conditional clauses, such as a penalty. Consider the very last project activity that determines the end of the project, other services. Add a reference to this other services activity on the formula tab. Second, we need to create a variable that holds the penalty amount. Go to the variables creation icon and add a name. Penalty for delays. A description. Daily penalty on total project delay. And a base of 0.1, meaning $100,000 since the project has been estimated on millions of dollars. Close OK to finish creating this variable. Third, with these two elements in place, the activity referral to activity 19 and the penalty for delays variable, symbolized by penalty, we now proceed to create the following formula on the base value formula field. This formula first calculates the date difference between the actual early finish date of activity 19 and the established contractual date of March 18th, 2028. For each one of these days, a penalty of $100,000 is multiplied. If there's an actual early finish on the project, the max function guarantees that only positive delays will be considered on the formula. With this delay functionality in place, we now proceed to simulate on the Analyze tab. We will run 20,000 iterations without stepping through on the process to make for a faster simulation. Also, Make sure you use the same seed value in order to guarantee identical results when rerunning additional simulations. It doesn't matter which integer value you use as long as you keep it constant. Right after the simulation is over, go to the cost of project distribution graph. The statistics information table on the right side tells you the deterministic current total project cost is of 4.0 billion but there's only a 15% probability of achieving such a target. You would need $468 million, a 12% increase over the 4 billion, in order to achieve P80, the accepted convention for contingency estimation in this example. Now, shift to the schedule icon on the distribution graph. On the deterministic date of March 17th, 2028, there's only a 3% probability of making that target on time. In other words, there's a 97% probability that there will be some penalty on the project. The question now is how much? There's at least two ways in which you'd be able to answer that question. First approach, on the cost distribution graph, select the histogram for the total project and send to comparison. Make sure there's no previous curves being sent. Change the name for this compared curve as with penalties. On the details of this scenario, you can observe, for example, that there's only a 15% probability of a total project cost of under $4 billion, with a median of $4.24 billion. Go back to the Costs tab and temporarily modify the penalty variable to a base of zero. Click OK. Go to the Analyze tab and run the analysis again. Locate it again on the Total Project Cost Distribution Graph now send to comparison. The added comparable curve might be renamed to without penalties. The added dialog box displays both P80s and P50s and means. By choosing P80, where this company has decided to make its decisions, you will see that there's a $49 million difference between one scenario and the other one. 
PAD of $4.66 billion without penalties, which increases to $4.71 billion with penalties. In other words, there's an 80% confidence that penalties will run as much as $49 million on this project. $49 million over expected net management commissions of $120 million represents over 40% erosion of profitability gone on penalties. The second approach to viewing the impact of penalties is even simpler and does not require any comparison. We would have to run again the simulation since on the very last one we had changed the penalty variable to zero. Thus, go to cost tab again, change the penalty base variable to 0.1, that is $100,000 of daily penalty, and run the simulation all over again after having selected the Analyze tab. Simply, on the distribution graph, select Delay Penalty on the left-hand side, Cost Description Table, and you will see the chart immediately updated. You will read a median penalty of $24 million and an 80th percentile of $49 million read on the left-sided vertical axis. You can also ask the inverse question. Given expected bill management revenue of $120 million, what is the probability that penalties will lead up all of the expected profits? Simply. Click on the Set Target button on the upper left-hand side of the chart and write 120. You will observe the shift of the vertical delimiter line to the 99th percentile at 120, calculating a cumulative probability of 99%. Therefore, there's even a 1% chance of eroding total expected revenues given the current penalty structure. With these elements in mind, directors can take a look on the decision to enter the bidding process or at least try to negotiate penalty clauses. There's only a 3% probability that there will be no penalties. There's a 50% probability of penalties up to $24 million, 80% probability of penalties up to $49 million, and 1% probability of penalties over $120 million expected total revenue all the way up to an extreme position of over $300 million on penalties.